How to cut wood slices. Wood slices are great for crafting, but purchasing them from your local hobby store can get pricey. If you are comfortable using a bandsaw or miter saw and you have access to fallen tree branches, you can cut your own wood slices at home. Use a chainsaw if you're cutting very large slices from tree trunks. Smooth the edges of each slice with a sanding block, then dry the slices in your oven before using them to make coasters, ornaments, tabletops, and other fun crafts. Cutting small slices with a bandsaw. Decide how thick you want your slices to be. If you are making wooden coasters, you may want your slices as thick as 0.5 inches 1.3 centimeters. If you're making ornaments or other crafts, you might want slices closer to 0.125 inches 0.32 centimeters. Think about what thickness you need. When using a bandsaw to make thin, small slices from a tree branch, it's best to use a branch that is 6 inches 15 centimeters or less in diameter. Different bandsaws have different capacities, however, so you may want to check the product manual first. Create a guide with a piece of scrap wood and clamps. Locate a piece of flat scrap wood such as a 2x4. Use your tape measure to determine how far from the blade you need your branch to be. Clamp the piece of wood onto your bandsaw at that distance. The flat edge of the wood will act as a guide for your wood slices. If you want your slices to be 0.5 inches 1.3 centimeters thick, your branch needs to be 0.5 inches 1.3 centimeters from the blade. If you are right-handed, clamp the guide onto the left side of your saw. If you are left-handed, clamp the guide onto the right side of your saw. If you want your slices to be 0.5 inches 1.3 centimeters thick, your branch needs to be 0.5 inches 1.3 centimeters from the blade. If you are right-handed, clamp the guide onto the left side of your saw. If you are left-handed, clamp the guide onto the right side of your saw. Put on a dust mask, respirator and protective goggles. Operating a saw and working around fine sawdust can be dangerous. Wear a dust mask or respirator to prevent yourself from breathing in the dust. Goggles will shield your eyes from dust and wood chips. Make sure you have a firm grip on the tree branch. A tree branch is not flat or smooth, which can make it more difficult to cut. Be sure you have a very firm grasp on the branch before you begin cutting. Stop and readjust your grip as needed. Locate all of the knots in the wood so you can avoid them. Sawing through a knot in the wood can be dangerous. Before you begin, evaluate the branch for knots. Skip over any places where knots are located. Do not attempt to saw through a knot. A knot is a circular area where the wood is condensed. Look for a circle shape that protrudes slightly from the branch. A knot is a circular area where the wood is condensed. Look for a circle shape that protrudes slightly from the branch. Turn on the bandsaw and glide the branch into the blade. Hold your branch perpendicular to the blade, so that the top of the branch rests against your guide. Maintain a solid grip on the branch as you carefully slide it into the blade. Repeat this until you have enough slices. You can also use a miter saw for this project, which may allow you to make more precise cuts. It really just depends on what you have available and what you're comfortable operating. A bandsaw is typically easier to use for a novice because the blade is stationary. Always keep your fingers at least 3 inches 7.6 centimeters away from the blade. Don't use your thumb to feed the wood into the blade. Grip and stabilize with both hands and feed it through. Don't push your fingers toward the blade, just feed the wood into the blade. You can also use a miter saw for this project, which may allow you to make more precise cuts. It really just depends on what you have available and what you're comfortable operating. A bandsaw is typically easier to use for a novice because the blade is stationary. Always keep your fingers at least 3 inches 7.6 centimeters away from the blade. Don't use your thumb to feed the wood into the blade. Grip and stabilize with both hands and feed it through. Don't push your fingers toward the blade, just feed the wood into the blade. Put the slice aside and repeat, if desired. If you only want one slice, you're all done. If you want multiple slices, turn off the bandsaw, unclamp the wood, and put your first slice off to the side. Line up the branch the same way you did the first time to make a new slice and repeat the same actions.